Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer, former State Department official Kristen uh, Whiten. All right, guys, uh, you've seen this explosive uh, interview with the three men actually on the ground telling us what happened that night. Uh, you know, what, what's your take? I'll go to you first, uh, uh, Tony Schaefer. Well, first off, my, my heart goes out to Mrs. Smith. I oh, feel so terribly oh, for, for all her. of us. The bottom line is that, that that delay of a half an hour could have made a huge difference, both to save the life of, of, of Mr. Smith and of ba Ambassador Stevens. And the other thing about this, Judge, that and we know at the tactical level, uh, you need to, you need to get in there the, immediately. You throw the adver the enemy off his game plan. That gives you time to actually reassess how to get in there. And Judge, this is the bad news. This stand down order wasn't just there, as you point out, and others have pointed out. There should have been air power there. Someone <laughs> had to issue a, a stand down order across the board. She's correct. Someone's lying because the moment this thing is reported up the chain of command, at least three separate DOD commands, Central Command, Special Operations Command, European Command, all spring into action. Things start happening automatically. Someone had to manually go around and turn all those off. Therefore, someone had to issue a direct stand-down order. But, but, but you know what? It's even worse than that, Tony, and I'll tell you why. Because it's not just that they didn't get the order to go, the FEST teams, the emergency response teams. You had guys who wanted to go yes, who were told absolutely. you can't go. Christian, absolutely. what's your reaction? action. You know, I think it just it, it reinforces a lot of what we already suspected. First of all, that, that the time made a huge difference. It wasn't the case that these guys knocked down a door and started shooting. Actually, they took time. Uh, they had trouble getting in. Ambassador Stevens was sheltering with his guards, and they started fires that eventually killed them. That could have been prevented if these men, these heroes, had been allowed. But the other implication that's the big one is that Hillary committed a crime. She lied to Congress in her prepared remarks, which she spoke under oath before the the committee, she said no one gave a stand down order. No one at the White House, no one at the State Department. And it looks very much, depending on who you believe, and I believe these three heroes, <laughs> that she lied to Congress. Do you know, uh, I'll go to you, Tony Schaefer, do you know if sure. anyone has spoken to that chief of base, the guy who was right there? The, the honest answer is I'd like to believe Congress called them in. There's been several closed hearings. Not, 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 there's, it's not clear on what all Congress has. And Trey Gowdy, I think rightfully, is keeping all the cards close to his chest about how he's going to conduct the overall uh, hearings regarding the final issue. The bottom line is people know stuff, Judge. People should be coming forward to provide it as quickly as possible. There's a series of issues here. There's m multiple violations. And for Mrs. Smith, for others, we are all owed an accounting of what happened that night. You know, um, when, when we talk about uh, uh, Sean Smith and, and what he was doing in the final minutes, and we know of the cables ahead of time that, uh, you know, these guys wanted more security, and, and yet the security was tamped down for them. Christian, what do you think it says to the rest of the world about our ability and our government's determination to help Americans in trouble? It's really, it's really disappointing. You know, the State Department has been given by Congress almost everything it's asked for over the years. If you look at the uh, budget for diplomatic security, which protects State Department officials from before the 98 embassy bombings that yes. really started the spike in, in security, it's gone from 200 million up to 1.8 billion. So when the State Department says, oh, we just didn't have the resources, they're not telling the truth. It's the fact is that under right. Hillary and under Obama, the State Department had this, this mantra that, hey, the tide of war is receding. If the president says it, it must be true. And right, so right. when they asked for a 50 caliber machine gun, when they asked for a Marine Guard, when they asked for more equipment, it was denied by Hillary Clinton's State Department. Absolutely. All right, Tony and Christian, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Thanks for having us. All right. And coming up, the